Hey guys, uh, welcome to my uh, another AWS video on uh, DynamoDB streams today. So what I will be doing today is um, creating a DynamoDB table. Um, we will uh, trigger a Lambda function using a DynamoDB streams. Um, and then uh, let's save a backup of our DynamoDB table um, into the Amazon S3 bucket. So for this um, today, um, uh, so what is the DynamoDB streams? Uh, so basically DynamoDB stream is nothing but uh, a feature that emit events when uh, there is some record modifications. For example, if you insert, delete or update anything in your DynamoDB table, so that will emit an event and that event will trigger your Lambda function and then store your backup log or um, uh, anything related to DynamoDB table into your uh, S3 bucket. Okay, um, so this is just keeping a logs of what's changed or what has been inserted. You you know you can have uh, this sort of um, uh, data that is stored in your S3 bucket. Um, um, so each event uh, which carries the contents of of rows um, that are being modified. Okay, so uh, it it records all the modifications through encrypted logs and and stores them for about twenty four hours. Okay, um, so I think um, this is enough of. Uh, this um the introduction for this dynamo db streams uh, i think what you, what we can do from here is we'll go and take a look at this diagram uh, what we are going to do today um so is dynamo db table you create your tables here and you create a stream that will trigger the lambda function and then uh, you store uh, the data in the amazon s3 bucket okay um and meantime you can also see your uh, cloudwatch metrics inside um uh, your, your cloudwatch Okay, so uh, I will give uh, you guys this link um, from draw.io, uh, which is uh, which can explain you what's going on here. Uh, this is my uh, GitHub account. Okay, so you can come uh, here and uh, copy the snippets that I have um, for you guys for this demo. Um, and uh, you, you might need these uh, scripts um, for this demo, okay? Um, go back to my console. Um, so here, uh, I've already logged into my console and I've already opened uh, my uh, scripts that I need for this demo. Uh, okay, uh, today, uh, okay, let's go to, um, let's begin with uh, creating a Lambda function, okay? So I will be using these services, you can see here, DynamoDB, S3, Lambda, I am in CloudWatch. So, uh, to begin with, let's click on Lambda. I will create a Lambda first, okay? Um, because that's where I would like to start things. Um, I'm gonna say that uh, my Dynamo DB streams function, uh, you can name it whatever you want. Uh, so in my case, I just named it uh, something uh, which makes sense to me. Uh, Python 3.8, click on uh, use existing role. Uh, okay, so I haven't created any role over here. So what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna go to my IAM role, right click, open link in a new tab. So you can see um, I'm in my IAM, IAM dashboard. Go to roles, uh, create a role, which is which uses the Lambda. Uh, make sure you select AWS service, click on next. And then uh, obviously we're gonna create a policy. Um, so create a policy which will open up in a new window. All right, um, so I think uh, I I uh, pretty much use JSON because this is pretty straightforward for me to create um, any, uh, apply any policies to my role. So what I'm gonna do, I've already have a JSON um, created, okay? Um, we would need uh, these permissions, okay? Uh, we would need these permissions in our policy, go back to the policy and paste it, okay? So what we will be doing here is basically we are giving permissions um, from uh, for Lambda uh, to, you know, uh, to get uh, uh, for the DynamoDB, get list patch and logs for CloudWatch, and then and then DynamoDB put item, CloudWatch and S3. Um, um, so we will apply these permissions uh, to my role so that you know uh, my DynamoDB will be able to trigger and uh, my Lambda function will be able to store uh, anything on the S3 bucket um, and uh, collect some CloudWatch metrics. All right, um, so click on next tabs, uh, next review, my Lambda Dynamo DB role, okay? Um, and you can see all these services, okay? Um, click on create policy. So you should be able to create the policy. Um, 
All right, so this is uh, this is you're inside the policy. So go back to uh, you can close this window for now. You can go back to the rules wherever you have um, created. You don't see your policy here. Just click refresh. Um, you should be able to see your policy right at the top. Click uh, select the policy that you wanted. Click on next um, and give it a role name. My Lambda um, Dynamo DB role. I'm um, sorry, uh, click on create role. You should be able to create a role. What happened? Yeah. Okay, so you are you have successfully created a role. Okay, so we will be using this role in, in our Lambda function in our previous tab where we have stopped. Um, so we, I'm gonna close this uh, tab just for the sake of, um, just for the sake of clarity. And I'm, I'm just gonna close this tab, uh, go back to my Lambda function where I'm creating. So I still don't see my role here. Just click click the refresh button and select the role that you want. All right, um, create a function. Um, okay, so code change, your code has been updated while you're making changes. Okay, that's fine. Um, so what I'm gonna do as soon as I see this, just uh, select all and remove it. Um, go back to the uh, course snippets that I was saying uh, previously. Uh, go back to the DynamoDB streams uh, file. Uh, this is a Python script. So simply copy paste uh, for now. I'm gonna explain it what I'm gonna do here, okay? Um, so in my Lambda function, uh, this is my DynamoDB DB table. So I'm gonna create a table in a moment um, and then create a, um, so in your EU West to region, this is my region. So I'm gonna create a bucket uh with a name called my three bucket uh one two three or something like that so i'm going to create a bucket with this name okay to store uh the dynamo db tables in in the form of json file uh with a name called data or maybe you can see my dynamo db table backup okay this makes more sense and then um um Basically, what what we are doing here is uh, create uh, so uh, the table name uh, we get the table name and then um, store or backup uh, our DynamoDB table into my DynamoDB table backup .json file in our S3 bucket. So we just uh, we are going to just log the bucket um, into our S3 bucket. Okay. Um, all right. So uh, let's go ahead and create this table in DynamoDB table um go to click on dynamo db table dynamo db and create a table okay um this is my table name then my dynamo db table and give it a partition key or something like id and then leave these defaults create a table it is creating i takes a minute um just wait until your table status is active click on dynamo db table explore table items go to create item uh, and then just put um, something like uh, just a digit um, for example I want to do first name I want to I want to store something like first name uh, I'm gonna store my first name really and uh, second um, last name I'm gonna store my last name and then add another one which is age um, something like 32. I'm not 32, by the way. I'm just uh, just for the sake of uh, some dummy data. Uh, create an item. Okay. Uh, so now that you have an example item, um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a. Um, so what we have done now, we have created a DynamoDB table. Okay. So what is the next step that we're going to do is make sure you have this bucket. Okay. Make sure you have this bucket. Go to copy this bucket name. Go to. Um, uh, let's open up uh, S3 in a new window, new tab. Um, create a bucket. Let's put the bucket name over here. Make sure nobody has uh, taken this bucket. Let's disable this for now uh, and go to uh, I acknowledge. And then, yeah, looks good. Create a bucket. There you go. You have successfully created a bucket which is good. Uh, the first thing that you do is you have to give the permissions um, for your S3 bucket. Click on S3 bucket, go to permissions, edit the bucket policy, uh, go to my snippets that I have given you, uh, go to S3 bucket policy, copy the bucket policy, uh, put it inside your um, S3 bucket, 
just save the SRE bucket and uh, copy the ARN just above this um, in your bucket policy. You can see the ARN here. So you can simply copy and just paste instead of this, just uh, uh, you need to replace with your ARN. In, in my case, this is my ARN. So you'll have to probably replace your ARN, uh, remove this thing, uh, and then also remove this ARN here. Okay, um, so basically I'm giving uh, permission uh, to get object, put object and delete um, uh, bucket permissions and click on save changes. There you go. Um, now that you have created your bucket, go back to your DynamoDB Lambda function. Make sure uh, you have created your bucket, you have created your table name, and then S3 bucket in EU West to region. Make sure your bucket is from EU West to region. Go to the buckets and make sure it is EU West to, which is correct. And then might have know the table and yeah, everything looks good. So you understand this, right? So basically our Lambda function is um, getting a copy of the DynamoDB table and storing it uh, in the name of my DynamoDB table backup inside my S3 bucket, okay? Um, I hope this, this makes sense. I click on deploy and to deploy this Lambda. Okay, uh, so now that you're good and then go to the, the DynamoDB table. Um, so now let's enable the streams, okay? Um, go back to the tables, um, click on my DynamoDB table and click on exports and streams. Go all the way to the bottom, uh, DynamoDB stream details, click. It is, it is disabled by default, click enable. Leave these options, leave this default and click enable stream so you you have now enabled the demo db stream okay so what i'm going to do is um if there is a update on insert uh, update or delete then i'm going to trigger the lambda function so i'm going to click on uh, a trigger uh, here okay create a trigger uh, i'm going to choose my function if you just click on this you will be able to see the function name that you have just created and then uh, the best size leave it as one for now create a trigger all right so now you have enabled the DynamoDB stream details and, and the uh, Lambda function trigger, all right? Um, so now that you have uh, set up this uh, table nice and clean, um, so what we're gonna do is gonna explore table items, um, click on create item. So before this, uh, what I'm gonna do is go back to your Lambda function, make sure you have minimized this window, go to configuration and put the timeout something like, one minute, um, just put in one minute. And um, yeah, that's fine. Click on save. Make sure you have enough timeout uh, for this uh, Lambda function to run. And then, um, and then go to your DynamoDB. Um, we have clicked on explore table items before. Click on create items. So let's now go ahead and create another item. Um, so click stream. Uh, Obviously, we need another one, another one. Okay, so now this is going to be first name. Okay, um, it's going to be something like Tom, um, last name. Um, Tom Williams, age, must be 45, something like that. Uh, it's up to you. It's always fun to give this kind of example data um, create item. Um, so now that you have created your item, so by the time you have created an item, because you have inserted a new item, so what um, should have been done is go to your Lambda function. Uh, the Lambda function should be triggered and your Lambda function should uh, take a backup of your data and put it inside your S3 bucket. So let's see if that uh, works. First of all, go to your monitor, go to the monitor tab. Okay, uh, in the CloudWatch logs, okay, if you go to click on um, metrics, uh, so you can see there is one, there was one invocation, okay. Um, go to logs, uh, is, is there anything here? No, refresh, uh, is there anything? No, um, okay, let's go to uh, the uh, S3 bucket, yeah, and uh, go to your bucket. Is there anything over here? Yeah, there you go. Uh, you can see your um, DynamoDB table backup uh, JSON. Uh, obviously our Lambda has uh, stored this um, JSON file. Click on download uh, and open it. Um, okay, so I think I need to open it here. Um, 
yeah so there you go tom williams um murli and you can see uh, the data which is being uh, stored as a backup in our s3 bucket okay um so likewise i'm gonna go and create another item and just for the sake of um just for the sake of demo purpose and uh, let me put a tree here a string i'm gonna give a first name next i'm gonna be last name and then last name oops last name uh h first name is gonna be harry harry um it's always fun to give a last name um abc i don't know <laughs> and he's 76 create create an item this is another item i've stored um so if you go back to the lambda is there anything has has there been anything logs um is there anything here no uh this one r is there anything no i don't see why okay that's fine um Go to okay so you have now inserted uh to uh, insert another um person okay uh go to the s3 bucket uh click on the bucket refresh you should now be able to down copy the url s3 copy the s3 URA, open it in a new window just paste this and open up uh oops um okay i didn't expect that Okay, copy this URL. This is my object URL. Open it. Uh, okay, so I think it has downloaded the file. Open it. Okay, that opened in my another window. Okay, there you go. Um, so you can see uh, the data. You can see the data that is being stored in my S3 bucket. All right. Um, yeah, so I think that's it, guys. Um, so I think... Um, so basically what we have done here is uh, we have created a DynamoDB table. We have uh, inserted, uh, inserted, um, uh, inserted some data into my DynamoDB table. We have enabled the streams and we have created a trigger to the uh, Lambda function. And that Lambda function internally saved that data backup into my S3 bucket. Um, let me now go to the um, CloudWatch. Okay, open this in a new window. Always open up a new window because you don't want to um, miss this view. Uh, go to log groups. Did you see anything? Yeah, there you go. This is my Lambda stream, my DynamoDB streams function. Uh, this is the Lambda that we have created. If you remember, uh, click on it. Uh, this is the logs. Um, this is the log stream. You can see uh, all the log stream in, in the CloudWatch. Um, so Lambda run completed, completed upload. Um, and you can see all these wonderful logs uh, over here uh, in the CloudWatch. So uh, this completes our exercise. Uh, I hope you guys uh, like this video. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, give it a like, uh, share this, subscribe uh, to, my, to my channel. I'll, I'm, I'm, I will be making more and more videos going forward and uh, give you a real time scenarios as much as possible. And um, uh, please follow my GitHub um, AWS snippets and you can fork my repository. You can, you can see the scripts um and uh thank you very much for watching my video and i will see you guys in the next video